Mr. Bam, and welcome to Creep World, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be playing a whole load of different Creep World maps. Uh, each one of these, they're a little bit shorter, but I thought they were all a uh, ton of fun. Let's jump straight on in. We're playing another map uh, where the enemies are not going to be building. And we're the, the cool, the creepy boys. And there is just a whole load of stuff going on. Uh, are they making anti-creep? No, outside of this little pocket here. But that could, that could spread. Which could be a red hot nightmare. Oh no, they're making it at the back. Oh god, they're making it everywhere. I need to hasten my pacing. Uh, right, we'll just buff my boy. My boy up. And I think we could egg and just snip this bit real fast. And just let that go. Oh, it tells me how many enemy units there are. That's very nice. Okay, right, that's a good start. I just want to stop the AC hitting that. It'll eventually make its way around the back. So we do have a little race against time. I think I can hold that area. Don't have to worry about it anywhere else. It's coming from that side as well. Right, I need to take this sooner rather than later. Can we just run across here and take this out? Because also smashing planes is actually probably a pretty smart idea. I'm going to do it. Blammo. Kachow. Take that. Okay, that will just make a little bit of extra creep for me. If it goes in and takes out planes, great, but not my main actual concern at the moment. I do want to get some mesh this sort of way. I don't think I'm going to win the race. Judging by how uh, how I've played so far. I don't think we're running that race at all. It's going to slow me down a bit, but we can kind of jump in there and have a go. Their back line is actually... Oh, God, there's a lot of AC. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, I don't like that there's still a mortar firing at me. I need that to make, make creep now. Oh, nuts, it's not even deep enough. Oh, we got it. It was deep enough. But they're making AC in there as well. Nuts, we're probably not going to hold that. Okay, well, let's just take where, where we can. And... If that Emrith dies, great, we've got a portion of the map. If they've got a lot of AC, maybe we can actually hold out and buff the blobs up. Because that will help me take out some towers. I'm just not sure how many snipers. Oh, so there's a lot of snipers. Uh, that's a fun little little outpost. I like these little pillboxes. They're really, really cool. Like, they actually hold out quite a long time if you don't interfere with them. And that's like a nice, nice little feature to play around. Just want the runway to die. Runway down. Okay, great. We're basically good there. How long is it going to take me to get those shields? I think, heck, just get this producing a whole load of creep and then we'll, uh, we'll worry about the other bits. What we could do, which could be fun. Oh, but I can't really mesh in there. We can come around the side. Uh, I want a bridge. <laughs> So if we can hold that, uh, then it's just more creep being made, right? Uh, let's get some blobs. Up to a cool 11 blobs. They might do a little bit of damage. Um, not hoping for too much from them just yet. <gasps> Stash! I didn't even see you before. God, like, blindo strikes again. Okay, once the thing comes in... Wow, we can buff the stash up. Amazing. I thought I... I swear I like, looked at a stash somewhere else. Oh, uh, maybe up there. And I thought it was only one. But actually, there's three. So, I guess we're stashing. But we need we need a lot of boost to actually make the stash become a, you know, a hard hitter. I want a little more. Come on up. Oh, we didn't connect on this side. Uh, but someone gave me the hot tip. If you destroy and then place... Well, it's still coming in the other side. It's a bit a bit wonky. <laughs> okay, blobs are just going out breaking things, which I love. Would l kind of wish they'd just smash these shields. That would kind of speed up the old uh, assault a little bit. But just the like, actual creep production is pretty good. Stash did its work. Nice. I want to come in here. 
because I think taking out that M-Rift will be great value to me. Oh, nuts. Actually, wait, while I'm still there, can I just kill any connecting towers? Just to snip the connection point. Right. They're disconnected. Oh, they've got a little little back area. Okay, well, you know, we've kind of got the, the stop. And just come on in this way. Do we get air sex involved? The answer is, why the hell not? Okay, is that enough to take out an M-Rift? It is! They still are connected by some kind of side shenanigans, but... We have a few eggs left to goof around with. Nice! Okay. Air Snacks will be coming out to play. Let's just get... Let's just get those guys buffed up and ready to go. Okay, rest of the creep doing fabulously. Blobs going out, causing a lot of trouble. Uh, real, real good. Oh god, the airship. You mother trucker. Okay, right. We can cut you off from the mainland. Real soon. There we go. Right. Enjoy getting ammo now, you nerd. Boom. Roasted. We're good. Boys are now free to go. Fly, you fools! Fly! Okay, it's probably gonna take us a minute to actually get through that backline, but... We're kind of grinding them down pretty nicely. Oh, the dance of the air sex. It's beautiful. We can certainly just kind of just try and cut their supply lines down a little bit. Right, there's a whole portion that's been chopped. How's the flank? We should probably actually just mesh into here. Right, is there a world where that tower dies? Great. They've got an m -rift, but how long can that even live? Let's just give them a few rocks. Right. I just want to use this just to help me barrel through the middle and take them all out. Like, they're still, God, really struggling. The amount of super snipers is... It's hard work for the air sex. They're trying. Okay. Earn port. That is my target now. Can I rock a shield? Bonk. Yeah, I can. Wait. God, you can just rock the earn port. Okay, neat. Okay, well that takes a good chunk out of their resource. Uh, we have the dark tower, which could come in to join the assault. But I don't want to steal the thunder of my boys. Especially now that they have ammo problems. Taking out that urn port was a great, a great plan. If I, if I do say so myself. Right. With the big long leggies, they find it harder to actually throw. Uh, you know, maybe not, maybe not terribly. They kind of just, like, slop them down. Okay, the attack has kind of made it through those gates. And we've got we've really managed to push up this flank. And come down here. The mesh is super helping. The final bit of the fortress, I think, is going to be a little tougher to actually get involved in. But their ammo, they've got big ammo problems. This is, like, all that sniping they're having to do. Uh, okay, on missiles. That's fine. Good for them. Let's just make those... Air sacks a little more ridiculous. Oh, is, is it because the these are now powered by lift deck rather than just regular regular ammo? Oh god. Uh, spores. We took down one shield with the spores. Which is pretty nice. Okay, I've got a plan. Pop all eggs, and then we're gonna mesh through and just open up a new new attack. Because the front, they're pretty good at defending, but if we can come in on another side... I just want more of their weapons firing at once. Uh, just to make that deficit even bigger. 
And sure. Have all the eggs in the back line. Okay. Wow, Skinner actually made it into their base. Turning off all of their supplies for a second. That is so bad for them. As... Just all of their guns went down for, like, five seconds. Oh my god, wow, that was... God, like, it was one Skinner. Just got, got the exhaust port, blasted him. Kaboom. We did it. What a great map. Real nice. <gasps> one lives. Oh, you know, I'm a, f I'm a big fan of, you know, you leave one alive to send a message of what happened here today. But... No. Wait, does rocks work? No. Well, I'll taunt them with rocks. Uh, Blamo! We got them all! Neat! Welcome to an incredibly boring, uh, re relaxing cursor map. You have two choices. Either just guide the anti creeper around the map casually, uh, or activate your brain powers and calculate whatever you think the best path is. Uh, okay. Well, I like the sound of a, a nice relaxing, relaxing map. Because oh, that's a lot of what Creeper World is. You know, I find it quite a relaxing game to play. Uh, you know, just kind of sort of like painting the map in, uh, you know, either clearing out all of the creep, or, uh, you know, you get to play as the creep and just painting it blue. I'd like to kind of zoom over here and get this area. So they're not producing much at the moment. As I have... Because uh, there's a cap. Uh, and so, as we take stuff, they will then start to produce. I guess, like, the real power play would be to... just make one big mountain of anti-creep in a corner and not actually play super aggressively. Like, we just try and generate as much supply as we can before we go in and actually attack. But we can kind of go kind of aggressive in here. Oh, are you feeling relaxed yet? I feel like I am. Okay. All right, how's our corner base? Corner base actually working pretty good. Let's just take this bit out. Just don't have to worry about having any creep in my back line. Yeah, that little mountain range. Actually, very strong. It's hard to attack the mountains uh, if you are a liquid flowing uphill. Oh, God. Just a nightmare. But we can do it because we have the power of a cursor. Uh, take this. Nice. And, okay, they're definitely making more. But if I can just get them surrounded... ...and just reinforce my lines... ...and stop them taking any of my existing bases. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay, the mountain base holds. God, that was such a good idea to take that. Right, but going down into the canyons actually looks pretty, pretty brutal. Like, holding them. Okay. Got one. Right. Well, we're attacking on all sides down there, so I think we focus our attack up this side and let the, uh, the natural anti-creep just move in and take out the other bit. Okay. Well, we got it, yeah. Worked. Oh, seven minutes of relaxation. Perfect. And then this. This is how I want all of my relaxation to end. That noise. Blammo. Great. What a lovely map. Okay. Light players creep. We have an emitter. And there's just a mega gulch and every single mortar you can imagine. Uh, we're going into a super base. Super base at the end. What we can do, we could just instantly get our spores up and running. Neat. Oh, they can rebuild. They have the technology. Hate that. When are you firing? 
God, in three minutes' time. Jeez. That's a long time to wait. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be uh, doing some kind of spore-based shenanigans. Uh, right, let's just get, get our lad back here up and going. Okay, well, let's just goof them by sniping out M-Rifts. Like, they will try and rebuild, but we can deal with that when we get to it. Maybe the better play is, like, pop all of those. Just buff this boy up to being a big, a big strong fella. Yeah, maybe just freeing up more of these emitters and buffing each one enough just to cause a bit of trouble. So what I want is to try and just chop a section up here and then we'll snipe all of the MRFs in one surgical precision, you know, mafiosa hit. Oh. Oh. I think I see a fatal flaw in their plan. <laughs> I'll give that a go in a second. Okay, if I can just weaken defenses enough that they can't get back in. Wow, god, they could rebuild from real fast, actually. Okay, just spray them with eggs. And... Right, we have... our chop of the map. Uh, I think we can just egg this entire area and try and push them back up to their walls. Okay, great. We've taken that portion of the map. Right, what are we looking at here? One, two, three, four. Okay, can we take that out? Right, where are your supplies coming from before you get the rebuild? There, that's the fourth. Nice. And then it is just this one. I think my eggs roll down the hill, which is not what I need. Uh, is one enough? Oh, nuts. Wait, did they already rebuild that? Oh, I think the eggs, eggs down the hill again. Yeah, right, let's just oversaturate it. Come on. There we go. Great. This is all mine now. Uh, we've got a ton of boosts, which I feel like we can definitely throw into the spore launcher. Seeing as I think we're going to be making plenty of creep. Okay, sadly, they are going in random directions, which doesn't make for a great a great spore assault. Okay, with the way that it stands, I'm launching 58 spores per volley. I'm going to say maybe about 20% of them are actually hitting their front line, uh, which is not actually that many. So buffing this is super inefficient. Luckily, we are just making a lot of creep, but they're making AC. So punching through this wall is going to take a very long time. Okay, we're in. Right, that should hopefully now cascade down as their front lines get weaker and we can move in and take out the actual base. Okay, can we just cut off their supplies? I don't think they've got an M rift. Okay, the front should fall. 
Right, let's just turn that off. Have a million eggs. <laughs> and... Blammo? We got it! Take that! <laughs> that was, uh, was a fun, a fun map. The canal. Okay, but I do want to give this another go because back here, can we just take out all of your nullifiers? <laughs> yes. Wow. 5,000 every half second. I'm pretty sure that's the way you're probably supposed to play this if it makes that much. We can boost it, but now, yeah, 5,360 every half second. Uh, yeah, that's probably probably the way this is supposed to be done. Job done. They run out of ammo. And... Oh, uh, do we actually have to destroy everything they have? Have some more eggs. And... Objective complete. Great. <laughs> Neat. Okay, we're now in Star Wars. Approaching the asteroid field. Prepare for rescue and combat. Uh, so ready for that. Uh, so we have this kind of little spaceship base. What are we flying? Is this the Tantive? The creepers infested this asteroid belt. Deal with them and rescue anyone who's still alive. Okay, so we've got to nullify some enemies. This seems all pretty, pretty sensible. Right, can we just go super aggro on this? Okay, all right, let's just instantly move weapons up. Wow, God, it actually feels like a long time since I even played as uh, the humans. Uh, and actually pushing them back, it feels like it's going to be hard work. Right, aggressive missiles, I think, will be a better idea than trying to defend my base. Because I'm not sure where their spores are going to be landing. And I don't want them to kind of splosh down somewhere and then kill my... Kill my mans. Okay, one down. There's missiles at the back. We're fine. Totally fine. Barely an inconvenience. Uh, we don't have any urns to use, so we're just going to do this old school. Build me a couple more cannons, and let's start trying to rock on up. And uh, Star Wars them. Okay, now that I can mortar there... This bit feels easier to try and hold. I say that. Oh god. Adjusting those has gone way worse. Why has that gone so much more badly? Okay, just aggressive, aggressive tower assault. Oh jeez, it's bad. Okay, we're just sending wave after wave of our own guns to their doom. Once we take this island... I think we're probably fine. Oh, we can actually arm. Front boy. We've got a, the tiniest foothold. Give me a nullifier. Okay, can you hold long enough? And I need to do it for long. Just get that nullifier up and running. Uh, that's kind of working. Oh, very cute. Okay, sure. Pile on over. That pylon's probably not going to get built. Can we get a pylon somewhere else? No. Try again. We can, but try again. Uh, I'll send more mortars up into the fight. All right, that should probably live. Now, the dream. God, do we actually just get piloned up a little. Okay, right. If we can now just kind of cut them off at the source. See, we just thin out the amount of creep that's even moving along. We can now just kind of push ahead and take these islands because they're just not going to be quite as deep. I can clear that whole area. We can have guns on the front line, mortars behind, and then should be golden. Gun, you have one job is protect the nullifier. Nothing else. If the nullifier dies, you get destroyed. It's an important mission. But we do have a kill switch implanted in your brain. Nice! 
Job done. Okay, well, uh, you guys can go home. You can go home. You guys home. And you get to go home. We are going to need to get ourselves a refinery in there because I need to get some green art, I think, to activate the, the pylons, totems. Underground Bunker Xavier Log 1. It's been a few days since the Creeper invaded. Uh, we've been here for a few days. Thank you, Commander, for rescuing us. Uh, sends data log of all base needing rescue. Your friendo, Hazio, here. Uh, this may or may not get a second part. I hope you enjoyed. It's my first proper map. Kinda. I did enjoy. Um, I feel like I would have added, like, one urn to let you kind of, like, use, like, the, a super gun to zoom around. Um, but otherwise, very neat. Very nice. Have you all the totems? Oh, yeah, three. Great. Oh! Kablamo! We did it! Nice! A bam! So, there we go! That was just a bunch of Creep World maps. Uh, sometimes I really like playing these kind of shorter ones. Until next time, everybody. See ya! <laughs>